Okay, guys, this is our result. This is how the dress is looking like. This is our result. The person doesn't want any design on the dress. The person said I shouldn't design it, so we'll be leaving it like this. Yeah, this is how it is. If you want to know how we come about this very video, make sure to keep watching. Hi guys, you are welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, my name is Chinelo. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you will be the first person to be notified. Yes. As for my old subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. You are welcome back. This is the fabric we'll be using to cut out the upper part of the dress you just saw the half length is 10 plus an inch seam allowance which will give us 11 and her back is six her back is six we'll go ahead and mark it out and her arm old is five Go ahead and mark it out. Okay. okay, guys, this is the arm hold. I have marked it out right now. So we'll go ahead and mark out her breast point, which is six. As you can see, her breast point is six. Then we'll go ahead and mark out her bust. Her bust is 20. 20 divided by 4 will give us 5, but I'll be leaving it as 7 because of the same allowance. Her bust and her, her breast, her bust and her waist is the same. Her bust and her waist is the same, which is 20, 20. Go ahead and mark it out. As you can see, I'm trying to make the marking obvious for you guys to see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut it out the way we have marked it. You see the way I'm cutting it out? Yeah, you can see how <laughs> the fabric is dancing about. Please don't mind the fabric. Okay, we cut it out the way we have just drew our chalk yes i forgot to tell you that this is the front part of the of the dress this is the front part of the dress yes this is the front part i'll go ahead and deepen it by one inch you can see me marking it out then i go ahead and cut it out the way i've just marked it out yes yeah this is the front part of the dress the front then we'll, we'll be cutting it we'll go ahead and cut out the back side okay guys i'll go ahead and place the front part to for me to be able to cut out the back side i'll just leave an inch allowance that is my zip my zip seam allowance this is the zip allowance as you can see yeah then we'll go ahead and cut it out the way you've just seen it go ahead and cut it out This is the same allowance for the zip side. 
this is the fabric we'll be using for the down part of the dress the full length of the dress is 22 remember the length of the upper part of the dress is 10 so we are going to be needing 12 inches from the down part of the dress then we'll go ahead and mark it and cut it out the way we have just marked it out remember you'll be needing two yards or two meters for the down part of the dress to get it full okay i'm done cutting the down part of the dress the down and the upper part so i will go to the machine and gather the down part of before the before i will go ahead and cut out the lining it's off camera i won't be cutting the lining in the video because i don't i do not want the video to be too long yes okay this is the front part of the dress this is the first part. I'll go ahead and sew it round the neck, the arm hold, and the, the both side. I'll sew the both side, then I'll go ahead and turn it over from the down part. Yes, so this is the down part. I'll take it to the machine and sew it so I'll be able to get my gathered or to get it gathered. This is the way it's going to be looking when I'm done gathering it. That's how it's going to be looking when I'm done gathering it. Yes, and this is the back side of the of the upper parts. You have you can see my precess that. Then I'll go ahead and join it with the machine and turn it over. Okay, guys. Yeah. I'm done with the lining. I'm done sewing them with the lining, the upper part. Remember, with the lining, that's how it is looking for the main time. I've done, I've pressed it as for, I've pressed it. I've gone ahead and pressed it with my iron. And this is the down part, it's already gathered. I'm done gathering it, so I will go ahead and pick up my lining, the lining that I cut, I cut it off camera, yeah, I'll go ahead and join it to the down part, I've, I'm done joining the, the <clears throat> I'm done sewing the, the upper part with lining already, so when I'm done, sewing the lining on top of this down then i'll go ahead and match it down i'll sew it on top of the upper part i don't know if i'm making sense at all i'll go ahead and sew it the way i'm just showing you right away okay guys now i'm done joining the the down part with the upper part you can see how i sewed my lining yeah guys please i am not a professional in any way i am not a professional in any way but i believe with the little idea i have then you too can be able to make your yes i'm not a professional so i wouldn't want the professionals to come and be saying i'm not doing it well so this is just it or oh, i didn't get it well yes i'm not a professional so i'll go ahead and shape it i'll go ahead and shape it you can see the way i'm arranging it so i'm going to be shaping it off camera the video is already too long i'll go ahead and join the bay shoulder join the shoulder and shape it then i'll show you how it's looking like okay guys this is the dress if you watch up to this 
points thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much and if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you still waiting for please subscribe and join the family like share and comment thank you so much see you guys in my next video